Hello and welcome to JIRA for Non-Technical Teams. My name is Michael Roberts, Vice President at SPK and Associates, Gold Solution Partner for Atlassian. Before we understand if uh, JIRA is uh, the, the right tool for you to use in your non-technical environment, let's talk about your different use cases and where JIRA may succeed. One of JIRA's greatest strengths is its customization capabilities. With a plethora of plugins and integrations available in the Atlassian marketplace, JIRA can be configured to suit almost any business requirement. If there's work to be done and that work needs to be tracked and shared with different members of different teams, JIRA could potentially be the right solution. But JIRA is often seen as a tool only for software development or for IT. Over the years, Atlassian and its partners have adapted JIRA and its other tools to fit the needs of other business teams as well. So the question remains, is JIRA the right tool for your use case? Well, if your work involves complex project management, requires detailed tracking and reporting, or benefits from streamlined, customized workflow management, then JIRA is likely a perfect fit. The key is to leverage as extensive customizations and different options to tailor to your exact business fit and business requirements. So let's talk about the different types of JIRA. So as it stands today, JIRA software, JIRA service management, and JIRA work management are the products that are in the JIRA family with Atlassian. JIRA software is the original JIRA project management tool that was built for software teams to track bugs, add new features and functions to their software, and provide tracking and visibility for all of its stakeholders. It integrates easily with a lot of modern software development tools and has many different features for the companies are looking for in today's software development process. Jira Service Management, on the other hand, is often called JSM and is an IT service management tool that can handle things like service desk requests, approvals, and more. While it's traditionally used for IT support desk ticketing, it can also be used for non-IT teams like marketing, HR, or legal if they need to have a service desk. So that's one of the main tools or benefits of JIRA outside of a IT or software environment. And then Atlassian created JIRA Work Management, which as of Atlassian Team 24 in April of 2024, has been collapsed inside of JIRA software to make one tool called JIRA. And it was built to extend the capabilities of JIRA software to non-IT teams that needed to track work. So those are the three different tools that you'll hear. And as of 2024, you'll probably only hear JIRA software and JIRA work management referred to as just JIRA. But those are the, the foundational products that, that when you hear JIRA, that's what it's about. So let's talk about some different use cases. The human resources use case. In this use case, we have a project for human resources. And this human resources project has many different stages or phases. There's uh, stages for employee onboarding, employee offboarding, change requests, questions, and so on and so forth. So let's dive into one of these uh, individuals who needs to be onboarded. So the current request is for Clark Kent to be onboarded. If I click into Clark Kent, you'll notice that there are uh, uh, several pieces of information that are being asked for, uh, including you know the region and the office and those type of things. So you can complete those as they as the uh, as the request is being created. But then also there's a bunch of uh, subtasks or linked issues that are related to the specific onboarding request. So this specific onboarding for Clark Kent has a uh, related task in the facilities project to add them to the office and give them a badge. And I can see the status of this is waiting for approval. So you can also build in requirements for approval processes before work can actually be created. You don't have to do that, but that's a way to validate uh, requests uh, and resources actually being used. The marketing use case. As you can see here, there's a marketing uh, content project here. And this board is set up with uh, different types or different stages in the marketing uh, process. You'll see onboarding project, planning, ready for review, in review, uh, calculation file, and then completed. Um, so all of these different uh, uh, tasks here 
uh, can be moved simply by dragging and dropping from one uh, stage to the other. And notice that as I was going to drag it, it would not let me drag it into uh, a far state that uh, you have to go through a previous state to get to. So example, I can move from planning to ready for review, but I can't move from onboard project to in review. So that means certain things can happen at different stages in that project. Um, you can tie automations to this. So for example, if something moves from planning to ready for review, you can trigger additional task alerts, notifications, emails, things to happen when, when tasks move from one stage to another. So this is a great way to visualize the work that needs to get done, and then also to put constraints around uh, how things can move from one part of the process to the next and trigger additional events. The facilities use case. The facilities use case uh, is also a little bit different here. Uh, you notice that this facilities uh, project is a service project, meaning it is a JIRA service management project that we talked about earlier. Um, and in this case, uh, these are our tickets. They're different statuses of waiting for approval, or as you can see, there's a bunch of other statuses that are tied to uh, this workflow. And I can change the workflow. I can make it do kind of whatever I need. Uh, in the facilities workflow, I can also set up things where um, automatically tickets are created uh, for uh, certain actions that need to happen. For example, every quarter, maybe we uh, recycle some laptops and we have to go to different facilities. So this could be automatically created from a uh, preventative maintenance checklist plan that you build in the automations uh, that says that these tickets get created at certain times or when certain actions happen. So that's another way to approach uh, JIRA in a non-technical uh, non uh, way. Thank you for your time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the SPK and Associates channel. Look forward to seeing you next time.